Hello, this is Paula Joy here, your wow consultant for life. So this year, I am concentrated on helping you build generation wealth and leave a legacy. Build generation wealth and, and leave a legacy. So I've been in real estate since 2005, mortgage agent since 2017, and now added in you no know, work of financial services. Actually, I've been in financial services for some time because I am a mortgage guy and I arrange financing for people to buy properties. But recently I added this thing, right? This new license, which is an insurance license, okay? With insurance license, I did not realize how powerful insurance is. If I knew how powerful it was, I would have incorporated a long time ago with my real estate. But let me go back to 2004. 2004, I've been here in California for about four years. And a colleague of mine, a Cynix Corporation, told me to go get insurance license. I went and got it. I passed the first time. Yeah, I don't understand why people take 15 times or more than 15 times and fail, but I passed the first time, okay? I don't know why. I really don't know why, okay? But I concentrate and it makes common sense. I don't need to read books. I just have to take the exam, but that's not what I'm talking about. So I passed. And I joined what they call Primerica. Primerica. Hmm. Because that's what the girl told me. You know, she knows this Filipino guy in Mil Peters that talks about insurance. Why don't you get your license and, you know, go work with this guy part-time while working as a program manager at Cynics? I did that as a test. And every time I go there, I think it was every Monday or something, the guys talk about buy term and invest difference. Buy term and invest difference. I mean, this guy had the skill of getting a lot of people together, mostly primarily Filipinos and some African-Americans and some whites. And I was there. I got licensed. And every Thursday or every, whatever day it was, buy too many investor difference. Okay. So Primerica, I got the license now. And I knew this other Filipino guy. Okay. And this guy had helped me buy a property my property in, in, in Newark. And um, he made commission. I didn't know, I was relatively new here. But later I learned that he made like $35,000. He and his wife made $35,000 for selling this property that I bought for uh, $535,000, I think it was. Okay. But it was so difficult to sell a little policy of, you know, I was going to make $200 you know, to sell this policy to these guys. Well, to this guy and his wife. They had a, a, a little a daughter at the time. She was five years old. And the son, I think he was a teenager, like 14 years old. Okay. And I, and I went there with my illustration. I said, hey, look at this. You can make as much money. I mean, not much money. This is what you're going to do. Your children's education and all that kind of stuff. You know, and your future. I can't remember the details. But I went there. First of all, the guy, before I even met him, was giving me a run around. Give me a run around. Okay? Always lying to me. This is a guy who made $37,000 from selling real estate. Property. Right? And now, for me to sell a policy to him that is going to be beneficial to him and his family in the long term to protect their wealth, he was not buying it. Told me lies. You know, he's not gonna be home. Or his wife, okay, is the one that makes decisions. Then I, okay, got them together and I did an illustration, like I said, and they didn't buy. I was gonna make $200. I could not believe this. Okay, the next person, why is this thing like this? We're gonna six. Okay, the next person, uh, another family, it was in Newark. I approached his family, they got a big house, and I said, you should get insurance. Get insurance, right? They will not budge. 
Insurance will protect your asset, your most valuable asset. Everybody gets what? Hazard insurance. Everybody gets hazard insurance. But I can't even get, okay, life insurance to protect that, to protect the mortgage. You're going to have hazard insurance. Okay, there's a fire. Good. That takes care of that. What if there is something that happens to you? Okay? What if you got hurt and you couldn't use six of your functions? So you couldn't transport yourself, move yourself from here to there. You couldn't go to, to the bathroom on your own. Okay? What if you, you lost two of your six capabilities? What are you going to do with that? Okay? Too bad, right? Terrible. They will not take it. You see, the thing is that everybody has a mortgage. Everybody has hazard insurance. But you have a mortgage. You need to protect that asset and cause generational wealth. So guess what? That was 2005 when I approached Maybe 2004. I don't remember right now. But I approached him. I said, listen, get this from me. It's going to protect you. Get turned. Just get turned. Because at that time, Prime Medical was selling term, buy term and invest different. So cheap. They won't, they won't take it. Hmm. Interesting. Later on, um, the, 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 the husband, you know, okay, the man had cancer and uh, passed away and uh, uh, tragic, right? Unfortunately, they didn't have insurance. If only they had listened to me. If only that listened to me. Okay, the mortgage would have been paid off because they would have got what? They would have gotten a death benefit, okay? And which is tax-free and it would have taken care of a mortgage and taken care of a family. If you're listening to me today and you have a mortgage, you have a mortgage and, but you're not protecting that mortgage, you don't have insurance, at least get term. Get term insurance to cover your mortgage. I give you a mortgage for sure. You should have term insurance to protect your mortgage, to protect that asset. Imagine you buy a property for $2 million and you put down 20%. 20% is $400,000. You have a loan of $1.6 million. You should protect that. You should have a life insurance policy to take care of that. You see, every year, what do people do? Every year, they have to pay the hazard insurance. And you don't get it back. You're going to pay it for the next how many years? Right? So let's say every year you're paying $1,500. Right? In 10 years, that's $15,000 you paid. You're not getting it back. Right? But if, on the, on the other hand, you said... Hey, I am going to invest $500 in an IUL, okay, index universal life insurance. You put $500, discipline yourself to put that in there. I don't have the time right now to show you how that money is going to compound, how it's going to grow, and at the same time protecting you. Protecting the family, your loved ones. If anything were to happen to you, you will get that money. If you had long-term care, you will get that money. 2% of whatever you invested, okay? Or whatever, not whatever you invested, of your policy value, okay? Let's say your policy value is $1 million. You get 2% of that every month take care of you. How would, how would, how would people not do this? And if we're to pass away, your family will get that $1.6 million because you got to insure to the value or of your liability. Okay? The value of your liability. If your liability is $1.6 million, you got to at least have a, a life insurance policy that covers that liability. So that when, if anything were to happen, you God forbid, guess what happens? You, your family avails themselves to that. Now, I got some people that come to me and say, hey man, I got 
I, I got money, right? So if anything would happen to me, my kids will inherit the properties. Like I have a client, and this client has several properties, and his assets are about, let's say, X, you know, $10 million. That's the value of his assets, right? But guess what his liability is? About four or five million dollars. Yeah, yeah, I got enough money. And it's getting cash flow every month, right? Hefty cash flow. But every time I talk about insurance, insurance is, is a transfer of risk. Transfer of risk from you to the insurance company. You pay very little to gain this much. You know it because you have a car. When's the last time you had an accident? Okay, I've had like a few accidents. I left, I, 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 my office here is like, man, come on. I went to Oakland, you know, I got vandalized. Guy could pay $15,000 to repair my car. How much came out of my pocket? Very little. Actually, there was no deductible. They took care of it. You understand? All of it. The transfer of risk. How are insurance companies able to afford this? Because you see, they take a lot of money every month. For example, in Newark, okay? This little city has maybe 43,000 people that live here. How many households? Maybe 20,000 households, okay? Let's see. Okay, 20,000 households. That means 20,000 homes. When's the last time you saw a house, one house on fire? One house, one house. When's the last time? Yet, yeah, every month, okay? Or every year, people pay the premium. They pay the premium without complaining. So we know the importance of insurance. It gives you peace of mind. It gives you peace of mind. It gives you peace of mind. Now, what if, or how come that people don't insure themselves? The most valuable asset of your family is you, the breadwinner. If anything were to happen to you, you become disabled, you're going to lose the quality of life. And your family has to, that's for another day. I'm going to talk about that some other time. Why you, why you need to have long-term care is to take care of your family to maintain the quality of life that you have right now. Okay? But today I'm talking about protecting the asset. A loan is a liability. You, you bought that property $2 million. You put down $400,000 the hard and earned cash. If anything were to happen to you, you the banks are not going to be sorry that you put okay, equity in there. They have equity in there. They're not going to be sorry that you have uh, you put in $400,000. They're not going to be sorry. They don't even care what's going on. You sign that deed of trust. You sign the promise you know, and guess what's going to happen? Okay. If your wife, your husband, is not able to make the mortgage payment, they're going to send a notice of default. A notice of default and what's going to happen next? After those notice fall, they are going to foreclose on the house. They send you an NTS, notice of trustee sale, and you're going to lose that house. Is that what you want to do? No, that's stupid. That's really stupid. That's dumb. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dumb. You're stupid. And I'm angry at you now. Look at me. If you don't have insurance, okay, it's to protect your family, to, it's to create generational wealth, okay? Generational wealth to keep and retain and protect. If you love your family, you should have life insurance. No brainer. Do not throw money away. Get IUL, Index Universal Life, or get whole life, or get term. You need to consult with me, right? And I'm licensed in real estate, I'm licensed in mortgages, and I'm licensed in insurance. I can help you, and I'm here to help you. I hope that you were educated today. Thank you so much for watching this. This apologize.